Hi guys, it's Maria over at Lawrence Kia again, and I'm sitting inside the 2020 Kia Soul LX trim level. Um, so I'm just gonna go over some interior features for you, and then I'm gonna move to the back so I can show you how to uh, fold down your seats, and then we're gonna be all set. So just to start out with, um, this one does come with a backup camera, and the entire cabin um, has cloth seats, so that's really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the driver's side door. Um, this comes with all of your normal controls. So you have your child safety lock, power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. So to work the power mirrors, all you do is decide which mirror you're trying to change. And then from there, uh, the arrow is which direction you want your mirror to go. And then you just move it to where you want it to be and you are all set. So then if we keep going on to the left side, you'll see that there are three buttons right here. So this one is for illuminations um, on your dash. You can brighten or dim it, whichever you prefer. And next you have auto start stop. So basically what this is, is when this is on, um, if you are at a complete stop, your engine is going to shut off. And then when you take your foot off of the brake, um, your engine is going to start up again. And then right here you have your traction control. So then if we go to the steering wheel on the left hand side, you have all of the buttons you need to work um, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, the radio, Bluetooth, everything like that. So you can answer a call, end a call, uh, use your voice command, change the station, change the song, um, change the volume, mute it, everything you need right there. And then on the right hand side is for your cruise control and for your settings up on your dash. So you can set your cruise control, reset it, um, go faster, slower, cancel it, everything that you need. Then on the back, um, you have both of your toggles, which come normal um, on all Kias. So on the left-hand side, you have your lights, as well as your blinkers, of course. And then on the right-hand side are your windshield wipers for both the front and the back, your windshield wiper fluid, everything you need right there. So then if we come into the center console, you have a nice armrest right here. And when you open it up, there's a bunch of storage. And then you have your parking brake and cup holders. And then right here you have your drive mode. So on this vehicle there are two, so you have normal and sport. So then you just decide which one you prefer to drive with and then you can switch between the two. And here you have two 12 volts that you can use as well as an illuminated USB port for those nights when you're driving and you need to plug in your phone. You'll be able to see that. And then if you come up a little bit further, you have your climate controls. And then above that is your uh, screen right here, which is a touch screen. You can also use the buttons on the side um, or you can use the touch screen. So from there, you can see that this is compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And then in setup, um, you can go in and set up your Bluetooth. Just make sure that your Bluetooth is on on your phone and then you're ready to pair it. So up above here, um, you do have a place for your sunglasses. And then of course, there is the different lighting inside the cabin that you can change. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go to the back so I can show you how to lower the seats really quick. All right guys, so now I'm in the second row of the sole. So as you can see, there are three spots here so you can fit three people in. It is very spacious in here, um, as you can see. So a really quick and easy way to lower these seats down. On both sides, you have a latch that you're gonna pull. So you just pull up on this latch and the seat is just going to fall forward for you. So then you can lay this one flat as well and then the whole entire back seat can be flat so you can fit a bunch of items in if you're going on a long trip or you just are trying to pick up a TV from Nebraska Furniture Mart, whatever you have in store. And then of course, to pick this seat up, all you're gonna do is just lift it right up and it is going to fall right back into place. So it is very simple. Um, so this is everything on the 2020 Kia Soul uh, LX trim level. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or you can comment on this video and just stay tuned because we're gonna have more videos coming your way.